explain it to you as well. But anyway, that's uh, one of the collaborations. We work together uh, on the rollout of the uh, Better Place uh, electric car uh, initiative to make sure that we uh, get the infrastructure in place that we need in, in the Bay Area so that we can be the electric car capital of the world. Again, another collaboration around the region. And uh, it's been great to, to work with uh, Gavin. Uh, we expect he'll do very well in this uh, little campaign he's uh, undertaking. Uh, I know that because uh, he's a mayor. And mayors <laughs> have new things. Now, you may think that California is ungovernable. And there are many arguments that people can make that California is ungovernable. But if there is anybody who is capable, capable of, un, of governing an ungovernable constituency, it's Gavin Newsom because he's from San Francisco. <laughs> Yeah. So we know he can do the job. Uh, I'm kind of partial to former mayors. It's that executive experience. You heard about that during the last political campaign. But it, there's, there's value in that executive experience. He brings uh, not just experience as a mayor, but uh, he was in business. And uh, I think I heard him say the other day, 14 restaurants that you had started. Yeah. 14 restaurants. So he's been around, he's done a few things, he's got a lot of experience that will be very valuable uh, for the next governor of the state of California. And whether that's going to be a, a Gavin or somebody else, well, time will tell. But we're hoping it's going to be Gavin because we really want a local boy to do good. He's a graduate of the University of Santa Clara. that he did not have any outstanding library book fees or anything like that. <laughs> so they're very happy to see him back. And so we're happy to have him in San Jose. So with that, let me turn the microphone over to Mayor Gavin Newsom. It's a significant thing, trust me. We all talk about regionalism. But we tend to just talk about regionalism, but when we actually demonstrate regionalism by doing substantive things that connect our respective cities and counties, uh, it's uh, something to celebrate. And I just want to thank Chuck for his leadership, for his willingness to work across the divide, uh, to reach out to us on issues of transportation and housing. Uh, and, of course, the area of environment, which connects all of us together. And it is a significant thing, and it will be a very significant compact when we sign this compact between not only San Jose, San Francisco, but Oakland, and the nine Bay Area counties that have come together across their differences in an historic effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and lead the way for not just this state, but the rest of the country on the environment. So, Chuck, thank you very much again. For the introduction, thank you for being here and for that leadership. Uh, to all the other electors, <laughs> Ken and Dave, who I was just with, thank you, uh, supervisors, very, very much. To the other mayors, the city council members, the heads of the Democratic uh, clubs, uh, to all of the distinguished guests uh, that are standing, and to all of the distinguished guests and people that are here tonight. Uh, I'm very honored to be here in what is now a series of town hall meetings that we've been uh, having up and down the state of California. I was just a few weeks ago in Contra Costa County, before that up in uh, Santa Rosa. We've been in San Mateo County. We had, I think, six plus hundred people uh, in San Mateo County. It was a very interesting and engaging evening. Uh, proud to be here. We're off to Stockton on Sunday and up and down uh, the coast uh, over the course of the next few weeks, really trying to get a sense in very detailed terms about what's on your mind, what you're looking for, uh, what you believe needs to be done to reconcile the obvious challenges that we have here in the state of California. I don't think any of us uh, are particularly proud or satisfied by the status quo. I don't think any of us came here tonight to celebrate Sacramento uh, and the accomplishments as of late. Uh, on the budget or on issues that associate with the budget, on education, on health care, uh, on the economy, uh, the environment. Well, a lot of good things are happening, but still not enough. We certainly see a lot of students here uh, from CSU. They're none too happy about what's going on uh, with those tuition increases and some of the stress that they're experiencing. And the whole idea tonight is to engage you uh, and to gauge uh, your feelings. To the extent we can as well, uh, I would love the opportunity to get some advice 
Uh, I am one of those people that is absolutely convinced of two things. That first, I don't have all of the answers. But that second, I know that all the answers are out there. If we have the courage to seek them and to keep an open mind, to not for a moment believe uh, that our way is the only way of accomplishing a goal. And I believe that because we've exampled that up in San Francisco. Chuck's not kidding. It's a challenging town to govern San Francisco. Uh, I think any of you just pick up the paper or listen to the radio or watch the television, uh, you understand that. Uh, but indeed, it's a governable city. If you're focused not on the politics of personality or the politics of process, but if you're focused on areas that can unite people, and that's areas of public policy. So I've always believed the best politics is a better idea. And that's what we set out to achieve in San Francisco in terms of resolving some of the politics of San Francisco. And that is a focus on ideas and solutions to actually move away from identifying a problem and trying to eloquently explain it away. To actually identify a problem and begin the process of using some hard-headed pragmatism and focusing on some solutions. Willingness to take risks, because I think that's essential. If you haven't done something and you're willing to try something, you may make mistakes. And I don't think that's inherently a bad thing. And in government, that's something that we're inherently concerned